Friday, the 22nd of March. I got something I'm going to show you regarding the comet. 16 days till the eclipse. Okay, this picture here, I mean, this image came out 10 hours ago. Michael Yeager posted it on Twitter. At, let's take a look. Now, look at that. I'll pause it right there. Oh, you can see a, a semi shockwave feature right here. What we have here, okay, got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11. It looks like 12 jets. It was during outbursts on March, the beginning of March 4th. Images taken on the 2nd, the 3rd, the 4th, and the 6th. So these images were taken on those dates. And look at the way it, I had my computer was down for almost a week. So I missed this. So that, that would make it technically number 9th outburst on those dates right there. But those features is just gives that appearance from the that last video I did if you look at the thumbnail from what the pyramid and what the ancients the way they drew it kind of looks similar doesn't it and also here the way it outbursts I mean it just gives like a sort of some distortion to it but there's more images now this one it was posted two hours ago by that gentleman right there and look look at this you can see the spiral and the halo the coma diameter but right here Get your attention the way it curbs but this looks surreal also this one here taken a day ago by this gentleman and the way those jets starting to look looking more and more like that image from the ancient past this one caught my attention by this person right here look at the he says right here interesting pattern emerge sure have look at that like a frequency being sent out you can see the spirals also, yeah, like I said, this comet changes appearance, changes shape every minute, every hour. So it's constantly looking different every time. See, this is the shape that I was talking about. This one has illustrate 10 jets. And so far, it's looking more and more like it. Now, there was a question here. This right here about this lady claiming that the sun is not in until I see the video and see what she's really saying. What I gather from that, I've seen videos out there claiming that on April 8th, that the comet will be the closest to the earth on that date. I've seen other videos referring to the comet on that date that the comet will be close to the sun too. I mean, these are sites that have thousands of viewers, subscribers, and some other, other ridiculous claims. I'm mean, going to use this as a metaphor, okay? You got a lot of people who are they're like click click baiting they call it or they they come on board guarding the comet i've been following comets for a while and they come on board claiming they know everything about comets providing false information so you got to be careful because you're going to have i'm going to use this as a metaphor okay they're just spreading lies information reading a script and people following them and here i am just looking at them so I mean, I've been following comments for a while, and I use this as an illustration. That cube right there remind me similar to uh, Comet Luden had the same appearance. So ever since that back in 2006, 2007, and I'm that little following it, studying it, and that's what I try to do and try to interpret it. Beware of false information then i also noticed too that some of these religious sites are saying this event is nothing to worry about is nothing nothing burger so you're getting those crowds being put to the light also i mean i'm hearing nothing to worry about here folks just a coincidence not even studying the signs because there's so many revelations from those that have pieced numerous pieces of the puzzle too many coincidences happening here on their side remember i follow comets and what I'm seeing in signs in the stars is something magnificent being revealed. And you combine it with what people are finding out and being revealed. You know, people that are basically being communicated from the Holy Spirit, God, and being revealed pieces put out there. And they're coming up with some revelations that it's no coincidence. And they know it. They're getting dreams, visions. Like I've stated earlier, people are going to start getting visions, starting to see things, starting to put pieces together. It's not only one. It's not only this. Also, too, I got to pass this on. Hopefully, you guys will pass it on. I mean, do not look at the eclipse. I mean, even the, with those cheap glasses they're selling in the gas stations that you've been seeing because uh, you could do damage to your eyes. You don't know what kind of rays, radiation, or, or frequency, or vibration that this 
eclipse combined with the comet and Jupiter, Venus all together. So my advice is don't don't even look at it. Trying to do this this mission, but at the same time I'm being I'm being attacked by forces of Jezebel. Time is near. Their time is near. Few of us are starting to see things and putting the piece together. I mean, evil is being exposed. Book of Eden, uh, the Fatima that he father martin kind of alluded to 